In this video, I'll show you how to clean up your active campaign email list to improve engagement, improve deliverability on your emails, and to avoid paying for contacts that don't want to hear from you. I'm Jason, growth specialist at Wildmail, where we help make active campaign even better for Europe based businesses. Let's dive in. So before I walk you through the two automations that make up our list maintenance or list cleaning process, I want to give you some tips on how to do this on autopilot. So first, you want to make sure that you calculate the purchase cycle or the buying cycle of your customer. I'll give you an example as to why this is so important. We had a client one time that was cleaning their list every two months. So if there was no engagement, they would unsubscribe these people from their lists and not reach out to them. Now, when we ask them, what's the buying cycle? of your customers. How long does it typically take them to buy your product? They told us six months. This means that they were missing out on tons of additional revenue that they could have been making because they were cleaning their list too early. So we recommend don't do it for less than six months. Okay. There are ways to re-engage as you'll see and bring these people back in to your brand so that you can then offer them your your products and help provide them value all right also number two make sure you have a recurring newsletter implemented and this is going to help with engagement it's going to train them to engage and open your emails click through and this is going to reset our maintenance automations as i'll show you right now so as I mentioned, our list maintenance or list cleaning process is made up of two automations. And we like to think of our automations as generals and soldiers, uh, kings and pawns. Essentially the generals or the, the kings are the ones that make the decisions. They're the conditional logic that send the contact down the appropriate path. Whereas the soldiers or the pawns, they're the ones doing the heavy lifting like this, adding tags, sending emails, the weight blocks, etc. So we have two automations that run together to help keep our list clean on autopilot. And I'm going to start with the cleaning part two. You can see it says start this automation when one of these actions takes place. And our trigger is that the contact subscribes to any list. So anytime we have a new contact coming in to our active campaign account, they're going to go through this automation. They immediately get added to a six month wait block. After that, they're going to progress here. And first we're going to check and see for our case, we serve audiences in English and in Spanish. So we're going to see, are they Spanish, uh, a Spanish contact or an English contact to send them down the appropriate path so that the emails they receive are in their language. Now I'll go down this path here on the side for English. First, we're going to add a tag status inactive. Again, this is ha happening after no engagement for six months. Then we're going to wait for five minutes. We're going to send an email. That is a list cleaning email. All right. If you have any questions about the copy of this email, feel free to drop them in the comments below and I'll share more about that with you. Now from here, we're going to wait until the contact has tag status reactivated for up to four days. So either until they receive this tag or until four days have passed. And then we're going to check, do they have the tag status reactivated? If yes, we're bringing them back to restart this part of the automation into the six month wait block and they'll run back through it again and again if they don't have the tag status reactivated we're going to unsubscribe them from the list main list en in your case if you're using multiple lists make sure you unsubscribe them from all lists we do not want to risk having them mark your emails as as spam make sure it's all of your lists and you can check out this video here to see why we don't recommend using multiple lists and how to keep a clean and organized crm now we're going to remove the tag status english inactive add the tag status unsubscribed, and then we're going to end this automation. Now, let me show you part one of our list maintenance or list cleaning process. We're going to start this automation when any of these actions take place. And you can see contact reads any email, et cetera. This is engagement, right? This is a contact that is taking an action with our brand. And so we're going to exit the automation part two, this one here. We're gonna pull them out of this automation wherever they are. We're gonna wait for five minutes, and then we're gonna drop them back into part two. So this piece here serves to reset the list cleansing automation here that actually does the unsubscribing. Anytime they take an action, they engage with us, we're going to take them out, drop them back in, and then wait for six months. They'll go down the same automation path I just went over. And that's how we're keeping our list clean. So we're only engaging with those contacts that want to hear from us. They're engaging with us. They are 
uh, clicking links, they're opening our emails, they're browsing our site, and we're not paying for those contacts that don't want to hear from us, which is also going to improve our deliverability because our open and our click-through rates are going to be higher, right? We're not going to have people marking our emails as spam. So that is how you can keep your email list clean on autopilot using active campaign automations. If you have any questions about this, feel free to drop them below in the comments and we'd be happy to answer them for you. Now I mentioned earlier, I'd explain more about wild mail and at wild mail, we are one of the top resellers of active campaign in the world. And at its core, wild mail is just active campaign. So nothing changes with your pricing, your API integrations, your email sequences, your campaigns, your login, your password. It all stays the same because it is active campaign at its core. We inherit your next billing cycle. So you don't get charged anything additional by us, but your next billing cycle will be through us. And then that allows us to stack additional benefits for free on top, especially for Europe based businesses. So first we've got premium localized support. We are based in Europe. We're delivering it in different languages, English, French, Spanish, German, Romanian, and we're leveraging years of experience as an active campaign agency in the past to help you get the most out of this tool today. You'll get custom onboarding with our support team. Plus anyone on a plus plan or above will get a package of free consulting calls with us. If you're already working with a third party agency or in house, no worries. We'll do it with them. Now we also have a library of free training you can use. And finally we have wild metrics. Wild metrics is our no code API based tracking app for the customer journey in active campaign. This allows you to track revenue by tags, revenue by automations, revenue by email campaigns. You can build out beautiful dashboards to make sense of the data and then optimize your campaigns to hit your next revenue goal. And you'll get a free account for that as well. So if you've never used active campaign before or wild mail, you'll see a link below for a 14 day free trial through us. If you are using active campaign, no worries. You can move. There's no migration process. It's just moving the billing to us. It's a five to 10 minute process, super fast. And we can help you with that process. There's another link for moving your account below to get those additional benefits for free. And if you have any questions at all about wild mail, just drop them below in the comments or shoot us an email. And we'd be happy to answer those for you. If you got value from this video, make sure to subscribe for more active campaign tutorials and hit the like button so we can reach more people just like you with this content. That's it from me. I'll see you next tutorial. Cheers.